When a wife discovers her husband's disloyalty, she decides to share him with his lover. This allows the man to have two women at his side, though he soon realizes that satisfying both of them might kill him. While Jiri is asleep, someone takes screenshots of his chat history and prints the images. In the morning, Jiri wakes to his son, Tonda, telling him that his mother is gone. Confused, he checks on his daughter, Jirina, before his wife, Zuzana, returns home after buying breakfast. During their meal, Jiri mentions that he'll be out drinking with his friend, Mikal. Though suspicious, Zuzana shrugs it off. The family soon goes about their day while another woman, Lenka, opens her bookstore. Her co-worker, Frantisek, also arrives complaining about his date the previous day. However, he thinks his dating life isn't as bad as Lenka since she's seeing a married man. At the same time, Zuzana heads to the university where her husband works as a professor. She slips into his class without him noticing, only to find a student sketching herself with her professor. This irritates the scorned wife further, so she raises her hand to speak, surprising her husband. She then starts reading his messages to his lover while his students giggle at his awkward prose. After her bold display, she heads out and bumps into Mikal, whom she accuses of enabling her husband's illicit meetings. Despite the woman's anger, Mikal later assures his friend that Zuzana learning the truth might be good since Jiri can finally be free. That night, Jiri only goes home after his wife has tucked the kids to bed. When his wife confronts him, he excuses his disloyalty over her disinterest in him. Hearing this, Zuzana slaps him, asserting that he's the one who betrayed their family. Ridden with guilt, Jiri meets his lover, Lenka, the following day to break up. He admits that Zuzana knows their relationship, so he can't see her anymore since he's concerned about their kids. Later on, Zuzana visits her mother, Aneshka, and tells her what happened. However, her mother believes all marriages will be troubled with infidelity fidelity at some point, and those who stick with their spouses are the ones who get the most out of their romances. For example, Zuzana's father once cheated on her with Aneshka's own sister. However, she accepted that her sister was more passionate while she wasn't confident in romance yet. By accepting her husband's disloyalty, she managed to keep up with his desires, and now their romance has become more intense than ever. Just then, Zuzana's father, Ladislav, arrives. So Aneshka tells him about Jiri's secret. Like his wife, he's not bothered by their son in law's affairs. Meanwhile, Jiri has lunch with Mikal, who's happy that he has time to hang out with him again. However, Jiri continues lamenting about Lenka, so the angered friend berates him for hurting everyone for her. For the next few days, Zuzana considers her parents' view of her situation. Finally, she visits Lenka's bookstore and introduces herself. To the other woman's surprise, however, Zuzana offers Lenka a deal. They can share Jiri by letting him stay at each other's houses for a week at a time. Lenka laughs at this before showing the wife out the door. Still, the wife follows her home that afternoon, allowing them to talk privately. Zuzana shares how Jiri has been depressed since breaking up with his lover. Worried, Lenka wonders what he thinks of the arrangement, but Zuzana reveals that she hasn't told him yet. Before leaving to pick up her kids, she wonders if Lenka agrees to her proposal. The woman assures her that she'll think about it. Determined, the wife even starts texting Lenka at night, befriending her to convince her. Just to get it over with, Lenka finally agrees. The following day, Jiri starts making an effort for the other people in his life. He even invites Mikal to go to the pub tomorrow night, which excites his friend. To his surprise, he goes home to find both his wife and ex-lover in the living room. Zuzana explains that she's decided not to be a scorned wife anymore, so she and Lenka have agreed to share custody of him. This stuns Jiri, so he walks off. His wife follows him and asserts that this'll make everyone happy, even her who could use time away from her depressed husband. With that, Zuzana starts packing some of Jiri's clothes for Lenka to take. This makes Jirina worry that her parents are getting divorced, but her mother assures her that their father will still be living with them now and then. Once her daughter leaves, the wife asks Lenka if she and Jiri use protection, concerned about her husband having more children. Lenka merely tells her not to worry about that. Soon enough, Lenka and Jiri prepare to leave, though Zuzana insists on saying goodbye to her new friend. She kisses Lenka goodbye and whispers for her to enjoy their night before they leave. At Lenka's house, she sets the mood for her lover, though Jiri finds it awkward as he's not used to their relationship being so official like this. He even rejects Lenka's attempts at intimacy, leaving her unsatisfied. The following day, Jiri announces his new arrangement to Mikal. His friend thinks this will still give him time to hang out since he'll be going home to Lenka anyway, but Jiri has apparently forgotten their agreement to go to the pub tonight. This hurts Mikal. Meanwhile, Zuzana 
Ivana goes to the salon with her mother and mentions the arrangement they've made. Aneshka thinks it's too much work though. The two then pick up Tonda at school, but when Jarina goes home, she shares that her friend's mother thinks it's immoral to let her husband sleep in his lover's house. Zuzana is horrified that her daughter is already talking about their arrangement to other people. Aneshka soon prepares to leave just as Jiri drives up to their house out of habit instead of Lenka's. Lenka also nearly forgets that he's staying the night, so seeing him becomes a wonderful surprise. The two finally make love that night, though it doesn't go according to plan. With no one else to talk about it with, Jiri goes to Mikal the next day, admitting that he had trouble getting started last night. His jealous friend smugly tells him that Lenka doesn't excite him anymore since their relationship is no longer a secret. Refusing to accept this, Jiri tries to comfort himself before going to bed that night. However, he ends up calling his wife who ignores his calls. His lover overhears him trying to call Zuzana, so he excuses that he just wanted to check up on the kids. The two then have another passionless night. The following day is when Jiri returns to Zuzana. His son greets him warmly, but Zuzana doesn't seem as excited, greeting him like he's a visitor. Making matters worse, he finds that his wife has switched their double bed to two single ones. Jirina also remains cold to her parents and leaves the dining table ahead without speaking to them. Zuzana assures her husband that their daughter will learn to accept their arrangement eventually. At night, Jiri finally has privacy to talk to his wife about their arrangement. He admits that he was impressed that she came up with it, and Zuzana assures him that she is happy as long as he is. However, he gets bothered when Zuzana smiles at a text she receives late at night, unaware that she's just making plans with Aneshka. The following day, Lenka talks about her time with Jiri to Frantisek, making it seem that their time together was blissful. However, her friend doubts she is actually happy. Meanwhile, Jiri positions his and his wife's new beds together, then grooms himself, preparing to have an intimate night later. He also tucks his son to bed and buys wine for them, only for Zuzana to fall asleep at the pub where she hangs out in. When she gets home, the woman acts more drunk than she is to make it look like she had a wild night. Her behavior effectively ruins Jiri's mood, so he pulls their beds apart again and just goes to sleep. When it's time for Jiri to return to Lenka, his wife convinces him to take his kids so they can get to know the woman. None of them are excited about this, but Zuzana insists. Upon arriving at Lenka's house, they find the woman in revealing attire, clearly not expecting the kids. The woman is left struggling to accommodate the kids, so to appease the woman, Jiri still tries to be intimate with her that night, noting that they just have to be discreet. However, Lenka exaggerates her expressions instead, prompting him to stop. The next day, Zuzana has her mother help her pick out revealing clothing and take alluring photos of her. The wife then sends the photos to her husband while he's in class, distracting him. Still, Jiri responds positively to her images, starting an intimate exchange over text messages. At dinner that night, Jiri claims that he's supposed to meet Mikal at the pub, so he leaves Lenka with his children. Instead, he drives up to Zuzana and has an intense time with her for the first time in a while. When he returns to Lenka, he finds that she's tucked his children to bed. She even admits that she's starting to like caring for them. However, when she tries to get romantic with her lover, he refuses. Soon, her family returns home and Zuzana showers her husband with kisses, having reignited their romance. As she tucks Tonda to bed later, her son admits that she doesn't want to return to Lenka's. With this, Zuzana promises him that their father will soon stay with them permanently, hinting that she planned this. As part of her plan, Zuzana texts Lenka, inviting her to a pajama party. When she and Frantisek arrive in their sleepwear, however, they find everyone wearing formal attire for Zuzana and Jiri's wedding anniversary. The wife pretends that she accidentally didn't send the message to Lenka to say that she changed the theme of the party. Still, they proceed with the event. Zuzana holds a toast to her marriage and the new chapter in their life with Lenka involved. However, both Jiri and Lenka don't mirror her festive mood. Later, Jiri finds his lover drowning her woes alone. He tries to comfort her, but his wife and mother-in-law notice. So Aneshka switches the song on the radio. Zuzana then pulls her husband away, mentioning to Lenka that their song is playing. With that, the married couple dances while Zuzana's eyes linger to watch her rival left behind. Now that her true intentions are out, Zuzana later approaches her husband's lover, admitting that she refused to have less than what she's worked for. She even thanks Lenka for babysitting her children to let her and her husband reignite their passion. Pissed, Lenka calls her crazy, but Zuzana justifies that she's the wife while her husband's lover isn't needed anymore since she and Jiri have reconciled. With that, Lenka slips away into the bathroom where she calms her tears. However, she also finds Zuzana's garments there, confirming that the married couple have been together recently. Meanwhile, Frantisek notices Mikal watching him, so he flirts with him. However, Mikal refuses to admit that he's interested. Suddenly, Lenka changes the music into a sultry song and starts dancing in Zuzana's 
Suzanne's garments. She uses this to seduce the drunken Jiri, which works, pissing off the wife. The next day, Jiri appears to not recall his lady's battle last night and happily prepares to spend the night in Lenka's house. He even comments to Mikal that marriages shouldn't be broken due to disloyalty. Later, Lenka pretends to sleep when she hears Jiri arriving. Instead of using this for a romantic greeting, however, she smacks him on the nose to unleash her frustrations on him while pretending it was an accident. She also patches him up clumsily to inflict more pain while Jiri remains oblivious to her anger. As part of her revenge, Lenka seduces Jiri next and records her private times with him. She sends the video to Zuzana the next morning, leaving her irritated throughout the day. To ensure her victory, Lenka even sets up alarms so she can satisfy Jiri repeatedly throughout the evening. Because of this, Jiri is exhausted when he returns to Zuzana the following day. However, he is forced to perform when his wife surprises him in bed. His more active life eventually takes its toll on him as both women fight to keep his attention for days. Soon enough, Mikal finds him skulking one day. Tired, Jiri asks his friend for comfort as he cries into his arms. When he returns home, Jiri expects his wife to want him in bed once she returns, so he prepares. However, she doesn't arrive on time, so he goes to the kitchen for a drink. Instead of Zuzana, however, Aneshka arrives with the kids who see him in his awkward state. On another day, the scorned wife cooks meatloaf using dog food and liver on the night before he returns to Lenka. Because of this, Jiri suffers from food poisoning while with her, ruining his lover's chances for romance. The next day, Lenka rants to Frantisek about how evil Zuzana really is. As she does, however, she falls from a ladder, causing her to break her leg. She uses her injury by asking Jiri to stay with her while she recovers. Because of this, Zuzana confronts her husband during his class about breaking their schedule the next day. He reasons that Lenka is injured, but his wife complains that she has a schedule too and can't just change things for them. With that, she demands that he arrive home tonight. Still, Jiri stays with Lenka that evening. Because of this, Jirina calls her father's lover, asking her to let the man go home since her mother hasn't returned. However, Lenka just tells the teen that Jiri's busy. Meanwhile, a drunk Zuzana is at a bar complaining to a stranger about her failing marriage. She then makes a mess of herself by bathing in a fountain on her way home. Late at night, Jiri wakes up to a call from the police as Zuzana gets arrested for drunken disorderly. With this, he hurries to bail his wife out though Lenka insists on going with him. Soon enough, they get Zuzana back home scolding her for misbehaving. Her husband also berates her for leaving their children. Jirina then adds that she called Lenka earlier to tell her the situation, but his lover claimed that her father was busy. Because of this, Jiri also scolds his lover as they leave. Lenka, however, complains that her boyfriend is sleeping with Zuzana again, but Jiri reminds her that the woman is his wife. As they're about to leave, Zuzana jumps in front of their car, insisting that it's her time to be with her husband. Given Lenka's attitude, Jiri agrees to stay with his wife since all his use is for his lover is intimacy. Hearing this, Zuzana celebrates by kissing her husband, so the pissed mistress shoves her. The ladies start getting physical, so Jiri threatens not to sleep with either of them anymore. Lenka tries to appeal to him, but Zuzana pushes her off. The women start fighting again, only to stop when Jiri starts feeling pain in his heart. Panicked, the ladies comfort him, but he demands them to leave him alone before he walks away, unaware that their shared concern for him has the women holding hands. Elsewhere, Mikal exercises out of frustration. He also yells at a photo of Jiri, though his true feelings for his friend have him kissing the image instead. To his surprise, the man actually arrives, asking to stay over to dodge the women. This excites Mikal, though he tries to hide it. He even prepares a special breakfast in bed in the morning and kisses Jiri awake. It's then that he decides to confess his feelings for his friend. This only freaks Jiri out, so Mikal regrets his confession and promises to not bring it up if he stays. The damage is done, however, as Jiri insists on leaving. As if things aren't confusing enough, he finds his wife and his lover together, seemingly making amends. Tired of it all, he just goes to bed. By Christmas, things seemingly return to normal. Jiri even meets with Mikal, who's on the path of getting over him by signing into dating apps. Coincidentally, he matches with Frantisek and is excited about his new relationship. In contrast, Jiri returns to being shared by two women, though now they've stopped competing against each other. One night, the man invites both women to meet up. As they head to the meeting place, Lenka mentions to Zuzana how she feels like her chest has grown, even offering to let the woman touch her to compare 
repair. They then arrive at an unfinished apartment where Jiri reveals that he's decided to move into his own place to be alone as he's tired of living two lives. This enrages both women, and when they yell at him, Jiri gets pain in his chest again. Given that they've seen this happen before, the ladies don't take it seriously and think he's faking it to stop them from arguing. This leaves the man to suffer. Eight months later, Lenka and Zuzana take the children to the countryside, including the bookstore owner's infant daughter. However, Jiri has become disabled after suffering a stroke, leaving the ladies with no choice but to care for him. However, this also leaves him to their mercy. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.